guys, Darth Deuce is here, another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. And today I'm going to give you guys a look at the ATAT -AT driver. It's part of the Revan wave. Um, I've now picked up every figure from this wave and except the Leia figure. So I'm probably going to do a wave overview soon. Um, I know I don't have technically all the figures, but I don't plan to get that Leia figure and it was going to be the last. This is going to be the worst, my least favorite figure on that list. Anyways, I've just seen how bad it is. I'll probably, I might get the 40th anniversary one, but I just had no intention to pick that one up. But I'll go over the rest of the wave probably. But we'll look at this guy first in more detail. So we'll take a look at the packaging. So here he is. You get the standard Black Series logo there, figure in the packaging. Nice image of the pilot or the driver. Uh, the name, there's actually a variant. There's ones that say ATAT -AT driver and there's ones that say ATAT -AT pilot. I think driver is more right, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, there you go. He's number 31. Um, AT, at driver, another image of him, and then a little bio which says, The Empire's combat drivers are trained to handle everything in the Imperial ground arsenal, but AT, -AT drivers see themselves as elite, controlling their massive four-footed assault vehicles in the combat against rebel targets. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, but I'll get him out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look at the figure inside. Now I'm back with the AT, -AT driver out of the packaging, and I gotta say, this figure surprises me. Um, it is really nice. He looks really, really good. Um, he's not without his issues, but I mean, I wasn't really expecting to like the AT, at driver this much when it comes to pilots and just people, the characters that drive things, even though this is Imperial Trooper. So I'm a pretty big Imperial Trooper collector, but even then the pilots don't usually get me excited as much, but this one's really, really good. Um, look wise, it looks really good. He, I, yeah, he has issues, but. Yeah, I like him actually a lot more than I thought I was going to like him. But anyways, we'll take a look at the sculpt and paint apps. And for the most, um, sculpt I think is pretty much flawless. I don't really see any problems with the sculpt. And paint is really good too. Any errors are pretty minimal. So we just get in here and try to look at the helmet. Which looks really nice. If I can get the focus. There we go. Helmet looks really nice. You got the black painted lenses. You got actually a lot of paint apps going on, a lot of sculpted detail going on, which is really nice. The Imperial emblems are painted in red. They look kind of orangish on the camera, and they're painted really crisply. I'm not sure if that red dot's supposed to be there. If it is, then it's fine. If not, then there's a little paint error, but it's not too bad. The black is painted relatively well. The lenses look good. The mouthpiece looks good with a little bit of red in there. You got the silver on one side and the red on the other side on the mouthpiece there. It looks really good. These black lines are painted really nicely. And this more black detailing looks really good as well. You just got all this nice painted and sculpted detail. You've got the back spot here. you got like these canisters for the hoses are at, which are painted and sculpted really nicely. And nice shiny silver looks really good. you got this black spot here look good. The hoses themselves are sculpted really nicely. They look really good. Really do look like hoses. Um, this one seems actually slightly longer than the other one for some reason. I don't know why. Um, as you'd expect, they do hinder quite a bit of head movement. It's not a huge issue, but it's worth noting. And you got some nice sculpted detail on the collar of his jumpsuit there, which is cool. You got the straps for the chest armor there. Sculpting is really good. The life support system on his chest is really nicely sculpted and painted. Really not much paint at, air paint errors going on. You got these black with this gold and red and white going on which looks really really good they did a really great job on this got the shoulder plates here which are sculpted nicely uh, they're made of a pliable material so they can st uh, stretch over the sh um, shoulders if you're articulating the arm outwards though i don't really recommend it because this sh shoulder armor scrunches up and if you left it in that pose it would probably kind of stick that way which wouldn't look very good um, the jumpsuit looks really nice. You got all this nice sculpted ripples and whatnot in the clothing. Got the gauntlets here. Got the gloves, which are painted in more glossy white. And you got the silver painted, I guess, communicator or whatever. On this side, I don't have that. Both hands have a sort of trigger finger sculpted. Then you got more of the clothing and whatnot. The straps here, which are made of a very pliable plastic. They look pretty good. You got like pocket sculpted on there more ripples and 
simulations of clothing. And you got the boots that look really cool. They're in this more matte white. They almost kind of remind me of space suit astronaut boots, which is kind of funny. But those are cool. You got pig holes in the bottom of his feet. And just overall, just a really nice looking figure. Um, I really don't have too many complaints wise. It's in, the, the sculpt and paint detail on this figure is extremely impressive. It really takes me back. Honestly, the quality in that regard takes me back to the first couple waves of the Black Series. I think they did a really good job there. In terms of articulation, he has all the standard Black Series 6 inch articulation, though it is hindered because of his gear, uh, mainly in the upper area. So he has a ball joint and a hinge at the neck. It can look up a bit, look down a fair amount, but you're not going to get too much rotation. A ball hinges the shoulders, which can move up to 90 degrees. They can move all the way up, but in doing so, you will scrunch up the shoulder armor. Maybe I can just... This is going to be a pain in the ass, but yeah, see? It'll do that. See, I don't really think... Nah. Um, ball hinges at the elbows, which move at 90 degrees. Hinges at the wrists. Um, a ball joint at the torso, which crunches really far back, surprisingly, and crunches a bit forward as well as you get the pivot, which is cool. I mean, you got ball hinges at the hips, which move pretty well. The straps really don't hinder anything at all. Uh, they move outward good, backward a little bit, and out pretty good. You got um, calf rotation, uh, double hinges at the knees, hinges at the ankles with a pretty nice rocker joint, and the hinges at the ankles can move up these mount and move all the way back, which is really nice. So articulation is still not bad at all. You can get some good poses out of him, and him being an ATC driver, you're probably not gonna want to get too many, not gonna try to get too many dynamic poses out of him anyways. So it works. And I just I keep looking at this figure, and even um, like it more and more, just how it looks. It accessories, he's pretty light on the accessories part, and. He So it's nice they include a weapon with them, which they could have easily included nothing with them. Yeah, included a blaster that looked like the The Scarif Stormtrooper again, about the same height, and Scarif Trooper out of the way here. Here he is with the first wave sand completely standing up straight. So he's standing up straight. The collection um the quality is lacking but there's no loose joints in this guy the skull 